Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be going over how you can create AI art or images with ChatGPT. We're going to be using ChatGPT4, which is part of ChatGPT+, Plus, which is about $21 a month. But personally, I think it's very worth it if you want to do this kind of thing, because you can do so many other, you can do literally anything with ChatGPT. Uh, but anyways, today we're going to be doing the image generation. So uh, make sure you get ChatGPT4 and have that enabled here at the top left once you're on ChatGPT's website. Now on screen now is an example of an image I created yesterday, actually. And I really, really liked how this one turned out. Um, and you can see my prompt here, create a vibrant and eye catching cartoon style 16 by nine image, which that's just the aspect ratio. Uh, so that it gives you this, you know, landscapes uh, image instead of a square or whatever other size um, of a Bernese mountain dog in a grassy forest floor with a bright blue sky and green vegetation all around along with some mossy rocks and stones and a freshwater, a small freshwater stream. And I think for me, it absolutely nailed this. This turned out, this specific result turned out a lot better than I even expected. So uh, we're gonna go over a few prompts live. I'll give you three live examples and give you some tips and tricks along the way. So again, to start creating these images, make sure you are on chat GPT-4. This is going to have Dolly, which is their image gen generation built in. So that you're gonna be able to chat directly with chat GPT and just have it uh generate them right in the chat so i have three prompts here today we're going to go over live as an example so the first one i'm just going to paste it in here uh but feel free to type out exactly whatever prompt you want to try out if you want to follow along um or you can try these prompts and see what it comes up with but the first prompt we're going to try here is a serene mountain landscape at sunset featuring vibrant eye-catching colors and a reflective lake with green grass bushes and trees all around in a cartoon style and 16 9 aspect ratio so uh in this prompt and some things i'm going to recommend you might want to incorporate into yours you know you can put whatever landscape whatever uh your imagination wishes but i do recommend if you want the more landscape you know rectangular shaped image you can put a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that's all that means uh just so that it actually does that because otherwise it just it's often a square or some other shape uh, cause you know, it's, if you don't specify, it doesn't really know. Um, also I really like cartoon style. I mean, this is one style you can put literally any style you want. You could do photo realistic, realistic cyberpunk style, which we're going to do in a little bit, uh, later for the next example. Uh, but you can do literally any style you want, explain and describe exactly what you want the image to be like. But I like cartoon style just cause it's fun and vibrant. Uh, but let's go ahead and send this in and see what it comes up with. So we're over halfway done here, as you can tell by this little loading icon here. As long as you see this, then you know it's creating the image and actually using Dolly. And now it's done. Let's see what it has. Not bad. We have some white bars on the side. That happens sometimes, even though it's technically a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But overall, I think this is a pretty cool image. Turned out really well. Really vibrant. Definitely hit all of those. So keep in mind, even if you don't like what it produced originally, you can just simply redo it. So you can do it a couple different ways. The easiest way is to just simply click regenerate here on the bottom left. So we're just going to go ahead and click that. It's going to come up with something else. We'll see if we'd like it better, worse, or whatever the case may be. Okay, so now we got a totally different result. I actually think I like this one a little better just because uh, at the very least, we got rid of the white bars on the side and actually takes up the entire uh, image, which is really nice. This one's really cool. Uh, so if you want to download this, there's a download button here. Sometimes it'll download in a uh, WebM format, I believe it's called. Um, so what I do is I go right click save image as type, which this is a plugin I'll link to in the description. It's incredibly useful when you're downloading images from the internet. Uh, this is just a, or a Chrome extension rather, not a plugin. This is a Chrome extension. I'll leave a link to in the description for you if you want it. Um, and from here, you can simply right click any image on your browser and save it directly as a PNG. A lot of times these images for some reason want to save as a WebP file, which isn't really ideal for most people. So uh, this just makes it a really easy way to save it. So I'm really happy how this one turned out. So let's go ahead and move on to our second prompt, which is going to be a futuristic city at night with neon lights and towering skyscrapers viewed from above in a cyberpunk style. So let's just go ahead and send this one in and see what it comes up with. These are just some ex random examples I came up with uh, to show you how you can really get some different styles and looks and aspect ratios and all of that type of thing. And the more detail you give it, the more specific you are with what you want, uh, the colors and everything, it's gonna be able to give you a more personalized result. So keep that in mind. So here's our result. Um, like this one, I don't really like. This is, I'm not a fan of this one. It's definitely what we asked for, but this is a pretty short prompt. So if you wanted to improve upon this, you could maybe add the 16 by nine aspect ratio to get a wider 
uh, image as well as just, you know, whatever else you want. But maybe this is for someone writing that prompt. Maybe this is exactly what they wanted. Um, it's definitely not bad. It looks pretty cool, but again, not for me. I like more the nature cartoon style stuff, but uh, to each their own. That's why I'm doing these examples so you can actually see uh, that it's capable of a lot of different things. Let's do one more live example here. This one is going to be an imaginative portrait of Cleopatra featuring traditional Egyptian attire set against the backdrop of ancient pyramids in a realistic style. So in my experience, realistic styles or photorealistic styles, some people will put uh, as a style is a little bit hit or miss at times. We'll see how this one turns out. It has been getting much, 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 much better from the last year or two, uh, where it used to, you know, mess up people's eyes and, and fingers would look weird. And I think that still does happen, but I think overall it's a lot better. So let's go ahead and just send this one in and see how realistic this looks, what the portrait looks like and the general overall quality of it. All right, it's done. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Um, I don't personally know what Cleopatra ever looked like, but this looks like a pretty good result for what we put in. I mean, you can see if I try to zoom in for you, this, uh, I forget what that thing's called, but you know, that thing in Egypt looks a little funky, but generally speaking, this is a pretty good, uh, output. I think for what we asked for just the short prompt, uh, doing it the first time her hand doesn't look too messed up really, uh, which is good. Neither does the facial features. They all look pretty good. Um, Overall, it's a pretty good little image if you wanted it for a, you know, a profile picture or whatever you want to do, do with it. So those have been three live examples of creating different types of art with ChatGPT using the Dolly, which is integrated with ChatGPT4. My biggest tip with this is just make sure you are telling it exactly what you want, because the more specific you can get, the more creative you are, the more accurate that the output's going to be to your vision. Because this first one, I uh, wrote this prompt or specified certain things in this prompt more to what I wanted. And I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, whereas like the second one, this is a very simple prompt and it turned out, you know, good. It gave me what I asked, but I personally don't think that it's, I, I think I can make a, something better, uh, which is kind of the point. You want to put in your own input so that it actually uh, takes what you want and creates it. Same thing with this one, you know, it's more simple prompt. Uh, it did pretty well, just one go through. And like I said, you can just regenerate these over and over again. Um, pretty much as many times as you'd like to get different results every single time until you find one that you like. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.